Hello friends, welcome to Mobi's Kitchen. In Mobi's Kitchen, we are making chicken biryani. Now biryani, no doubt, is the king of all South Asian rice dishes. But today we are not making any ordinary biryani. We have perfected this recipe over a long period of time, but we have brought it down to very simple steps that anybody can repeat. Not only that anybody can repeat it, it's standard enough that it can be taught into a culinary school. Speaking of culinary school, I want to give a big shout out to the Liaison College of Culinary Arts in Kitchener who continue to inspire me and many other people to pursue our culinary passions uh, and passion for food and cooking. So if you are looking to uh, hone your passion for cooking or just change your profession or reinvent yourself, they are in a perfect position to not only help you out but also uh, make sure that they do everything to make you successful. So let's go to the brand. So let's start with our spice mix. So we have 10 parts of cardamom. We'll smash them with our chef knife so the seeds come out and flavor our cooking liquid. We have one stick of uh, cinnamon. We have approximately 10 grams of uh, cumin seeds. And we have two inches roughly of uh, ginger which I cut in half inch coins and then smash them with a chef knife. So they are gonna be nice and uh, their fibers are broken and they will flavor our uh, cooking liquid nicely. So for our um, uh, other spices and ingredients, we have uh, approximately 250 grams of rice, which comes down to one, one and a quarter cup of rice. Um, we have uh, 160 grams, two medium onions. Uh, you can have them uh, thinly sliced or you can do it like I have chopped them a little bit finer. Um, we have 10 grams of chopped mint leaves fresh. We have 10 grams of chopped coriander leaves fresh. We have two medium sized chilies chopped fine. Uh, if you don't like too much heat, what you can do is you can uh, take the seeds out and take the pulp out. That reduces the heat from the chilies. Then we have approximately 10 grams or four medium cloves of garlic. I have passed them through a garlic press. So they're nice and fine. And then I have a big pinch of saffron. Again, this is, a, this is a very delicate ingredient and I will show you how to work with it. We have 50 grams of butter um, and that's, that's all about our ingredients. But our key star ingredients here is the chicken. And for this recipe, I have selected chicken thighs. Number one, I want them to be bone in and skin on and I will explain uh, during the recipe why that works the best. And secondly, they're all uniform in size. So they will cook at the same time with the same temperature. So uh, you can use any part of the chicken you want, uh, you prefer. But for this recipe, I'll show you why it is a better idea or best idea to go with the chicken thighs. So let's start by seasoning our, um, our chicken with a little bit of salt on both sides and a little bit of ground peppers. Now I like them a little bit coarse, but you can have them a um, little fine if you want. I'll flip them on the other side. As you can see, I have trimmed them and removed um, most of the fat. And that's uh, something that I want to um, highlight because there's also already a lot of fat in the thighs. And what it does is it creates a lot of fat, uh, melted fat in your pan, which you don't want. And you don't want that into your biryani. Uh, fat is not a, a nice flavor in biryani. A little bit is fine, but we're, we're, we're gonna try and reduce that and we'll see that. So our thighs are nice and uh, nicely seasoned. We'll just leave them for a few minutes uh, until we go to the next step. So there are two ways to include these spices into your biryani. Now I know people prefer spices in um, inside the biryani as whole, but I'm gonna show you another way and the preferred way that we have. Again, there are two ways about it. Now you see that I don't have uh, black peppers here. That's because I seasoned my chicken with black peppers, so there should be enough. I'm gonna break uh, my cinnamon into smaller parts and then I'm going to smash my cardamom using the chef knife so I've already uh, smashed all my cardamom same thing I did with the ginger I just cut them into coins put them on the um, uh, cutting board and then just with the help of uh, uh, chef knife I've just smashed them so I'll just add them into add all my spices into my bouquet garni here bouquet garni um, is a French word where you have this little set of all the spices so what we can do is we're using coffee filter for it you can use cheesecloth cheese cloth for it 
um, and we're just gonna tie it and throw it in our liquid now what does it mean uh, it will have all the flavor will we'll cook all the flavor out of this but it will not come into your mouth when you are eating it so it's ready to go so here in a pot we have three liters of water uh, three liters is approximately 12 cups if you go by the cups um, and we're gonna throw our bouquet garni into this water and once the water comes up to boil we're also going to salt it season it approximately one to two teaspoons or 15 uh, 10 to 15 grams of salt we will use to season our water so while our water is boiling with our spices i have added butter to my uh, non-stick it's a heavy non-stick pan you can also use a cast iron pan if you want uh, i love using this um, uh, butter is uh, heating and we will add our onions and we'll probably cook them for 10 to 12 minutes until they are nicely golden brown on the edges water is coming up for uh, the temperature uh, it's not boiling yet but at this point when we see uh, it looks like it's uh, quite hot we will just add our salt now I, I'm just adding uh, uh, by an estimate of one to one quarter uh, teaspoon of uh, salt so our onions have been cooking for almost eight to ten minutes as you can see the edges are nice and brown at this point this is what we're looking for before we add our garlic and uh, uh, chilies now you can use jalapenos as well one trick about chilies as i told you if you want uh, less heat then you can seed them or you can have a mix you can have one chili with uh, that you can seed and one chili with seeds and uh, finely chop them so now we have added our chilies as well as our garlic look at the beautiful colors and the smell is just heavenly i'm just going to cook it for another two minutes and then we'll transfer it to a bowl So I have been frequently stirring this uh, mixture for almost two, three minutes now, uh, and it's very, very aromatic and fragrant. So at this point, we'll uh, turn off the heat and move it into a bowl. The good thing about this silicone spatula is you don't have to wipe your uh, pan clean for the next step. You can actually cook your recipe in, in just one pan here. So we're going to use reuse it again. I'm just going to keep it off the uh, hot uh, um, stove. Uh, so, but we're going to do is we're going to cook the chicken in there. But in the meantime, our water here is boiling. At this point, you want to bring it down uh, to a simmer um, and let it simmer for at least 15 minutes but not more than 25 to 30 minutes because cardamom has very powerful flavors and they become very strong as you as you boil them so you see it's already very beautiful color water very aromatic i can smell all the spices in there we don't need more than uh, more than uh, or we don't need them to overpower our chicken and rice but give them the nice flavor so more than 15 minutes is good we're going to cover it and let it simmer for approximately 15 to 20 minutes uh, I have turned the fire back to medium, low to medium, less below medium and uh, you can see I am using the same pan. I like the taste of what uh, we have uh, the onions and garlic and uh, chilies that we have uh, sorted there before. So all we are going to do is we are going to put our four high pieces skin down into our pan and do not move them once you put them in there. Let them cook for good four to five minutes, and then we will uh, will flip them. That is the reason why we kept the skin on. So the skin will help it cook without burning it very nicely, and it will sear it. And then we will remove and discard the skin, and you will see how beautifully that chicken incorporates into the biryani. So our chicken has been browning for almost five minutes now. So I'm just going to check it for how uh, how it is doing. So it looks very beautiful to me. So I'm just going to flip it to the other side and if needed we'll cook it a little bit more but our plan really is to cook it for another uh, five minutes roughly and I'll again let them be on their own for another five minutes or so 
one of the things that you see here while cooking is the uneven uh, surface of the chicken on the other side. So what you uh, can do as a technique, as a tip, is to use the whole surface of the pan, even the curb. So if you move your chicken towards the edge of the pan, now you see that the curve, uh, because of the curve, the whole chicken is in contact with the pan and can cook more efficiently that way. So I just wanted to share that quick tip with you. So if you see, I'm using the full surface of the pan in this case, and I've moved my chicken pieces slightly to the edge. Now they are cooked, so they're easy to move to, uh, to provide them even cooking. So our water here has been simmering for uh, approximately 20 minutes now. So you see it's beautiful and colored. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, put our rice in there and we will uh, start stirring them right away. I have this nice rice cooking spoon with me, so I will use it to stir. Uh, what we want to do is we want to cook our rice for approximately five, six minutes until they are uh, almost, uh, you know, uh, there's, they are, let's say, three-fourths uh, cooked and one-quarter cooking left. So I'll show you the texture. So our chicken has been cooking for another four or five minutes. On the other side, I've just uh, flipped it. I return off the heat and transfer my chicken into uh, a plate. Now remember, this chicken will continue to cook in our rice as well, in our biryani. So uh, even if it is a little bit under the moment, it will, uh, it will cook out. So if I have long time before my rice comes up, which by the way has come up right away, so we are perfectly done and we'll switch to that. If there's a long time, you can take it with oil and uh, leave it hot um, for a while, but we don't have to do it. So let's look at our rice. I think it's perfect where it should be. You can actually see the rice, how it is. Uh, we'll probably more 20 more seconds and then we'll take it out. So we'll put our drained rice back into the in the bowl here and we will discard our bouquet garni at this point. At this point we will at this point we'll uh, add the saffron to it and you will see that it will give nice color to the rice. Uh, what I can do is I can just put some rice inside the saffron bowl and get all of that out. You can see it's a little bit splotchy yellow and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this one to get all the saffron out of my ingredient bowl here. I will transfer half of my rice back to the pan here. I will add half of my onion mixture over the rice. Make it an even and nice layer. One thing we'll do now, as I said, we will discard the skin. So you see how easy it is for the skin to peel off. So we'll do that with all the chicken. So we have our skin peeled chicken. So we'll keep it peel, peeled side up. The one that we just peeled, we'll put that in a way that it stays on the top. At this point, we'll add our um, chopped mint and chopped cilantro. At this point, the remaining onion mixture goes on top. And we just scatter it evenly. And in go our remaining rice. Which is going to be our last layer and we'll just evenly layer it nicely at this point we'll also add the remaining liquid almost a cup that we took out from our um, rice cooking process So for this last uh, step, there are many methods. You can cover it with oil and to, so it doesn't, you know, it retains a lot of steam in there and cover it. But what I'm going to use is another method. So I'm going, to, I have this uh, cheesecloth, uh, fold it uh, four times and I have dampened it and squeezed all the water out of it. So I just will lightly cover it with this. That's one way of cooking it and make sure all your edges are here to prevent any 
um, any chance of fire or anything. So this is what you, what one uh, it's uh, one way of doing it. We will cook it on very low heat uh, for approximately 30-35 minutes. And if there is too much heat escaping, that's the sign that your uh, fire is too high. So you don't want that. This is just to prevent uh, heat from escaping. As I said, you can put foil over it and then cover, or you can put this damp cheesecloth, um, slightly damp cheesecloth, and cover it with that. So now we're going to just let it cook for another, uh, as I said, um, 30 35 minutes. Uh, so the rice, uh, you know, the remaining one quarter uh, part that needs to still cook will be cooked, and the chicken will be cooked as well. So it's moment of truth. Our biryani has been uh, steaming for almost 30-32 minutes. So I'm going to turn off the heat. It smells amazing. So I'm going to just uh, take off the lid. And it looks beautiful. So what we'll do is we'll take out the whole section from bottom to top in a plate. And that's how you take out biryani and you see how beautiful nicely cooked the rice are all right so it's tasting time mm, it's amazing I have been seasoning it with salt uh, throughout, so um, that's the, there are a few points where you need to make sure that um, it's perfect, spices are uh, on spot, um, yeah, I can feel, I can actually taste all the spices that we have put, all the aromas are in there, let's do a little test for fork, uh, sorry for chicken, with our fork, uh, what I mentioned, what I wanted to say is that if it is properly cooked, you don't need any knife you just break it apart with fork and you see it's perfectly cooked all the way through and very tender and let's see if it is seasoned properly absolutely the salt and pepper that we used during the cooking process has infused all the way to the to the uh, inside so this is perfect biryani um, everything is absolutely spot on.